Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the special diet that my cat Thunder has just been switched to because he has just been diagnosed with the early stages of kidney failure. Although a high protein diet is usually recommended for cats, in cases where they have kidney issues, it's recommended that they be on a low protein diet. The vet recommended the Hills Prescription Diet Kidney Care, KD. I purchased some of the items that she had in stock, but I'll be purchasing additional flavors and varieties of the Hills Prescription Diet Kidney Care online through Chewy.com. The vet also supplied this free sample. It's the Royal Canin Feline Renal Support Starter Kit, and it contains both wet food and dry food. The sample includes three flavors of renal support dry food, A, F, and S, and three flavors of renal support wet food, D, E, and T. In looking at the back of the box, it lists the ingredients for each of the samples enclosed. Because this is a low protein diet, the first ingredient in each of the samples is a grain instead of the meat source. For two of the dries, the first ingredient is brewer's rice and then corn. This is the A version. This is the F version, and this is the S version. And in the S version, you'll see that the number one ingredient for this is corn rather than brewer's rice. For the wet foods, the number one ingredient for each of those cans is water sufficient for processing, and then it lists a meat byproduct. This is for the D. This is for the E. And this is for the tea. In looking at the ingredient list, I can see why the vet did not recommend this food for Thunder, but instead merely provided it to me as a sample, because each of the samples, including the wet food, contains meat byproducts, and I'm not going to feed Thunder meat byproducts. So I'm going to be returning this sample box. This immediately gets a thumb down from me. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what the vet did recommend. It is the Hills Prescription Diet, and here is what the bag says. They say this is a breakthrough technology to simulate appetite. It has enhanced appetite trigger technology. It's clinical nutrition. It improves and lengthens quality of life. The flavor that the vet had in the office was ocean fish. We'll be trying additional flavors at a later time. And it's therapeutic cat nutrition. And here's the back of the bag. It's clinically tested nutrition to improve and lengthen the quality of life. How this product will help your pet. It supports your cat's natural ability to build lean muscle daily. It enhances appetite and increases food intake. And the most important reason, the reason why the vet recommended it, it protects vital kidney and heart function. How this product works. It contains more essential amino acids for building muscle protein. It has enhanced appetite trigger, EAT. It has high levels of L-carnitine and controlled phosphorus and low sodium. The next section on the back of the bag just gives feeding instructions. And at the bottom, it talks about the company. At Hills, we believe that great nutrition can transform the lives of pets 
and the pet parents and vets that care for them. We are dedicated to pioneering research and groundbreaking formulas that nourish the sick, sustain the healthy, and change the lives of millions of pet families every day. And Hills is made in the USA. And now for the important information on the bag, the ingredient list, and the guaranteed analysis. For those of you who are regular viewers of my channel, you know how important it is to me to feed my cats a high protein diet that's free of grains, byproducts, and meal. With Thunder's diagnosis, I learned that having a high protein grain free diet was not good for him. I am so thankful that we caught this early so that I could switch his diet to the food that would be best for him and help prolong his life. So of course the ingredient list begins with brown rice and then corn gluten meal. I'm very glad to see that the ingredients for the Hills Prescription Kidney Care food does not contain any byproducts. It does contain meal and I would like to be able to find a food that doesn't contain meal, but that would still be the best choice for Thunder. And hopefully I will be able to eventually find that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and use what the vet recommended. And this is what the can of wet food looks like. It says it has improved formula and texture. The only wet food that my vet had in stock was the pate with tuna but they do have other varieties and flavors that I can order online. The writing is really small, so I don't know how well you can read that, but the first few ingredients are water, chicken, pork liver, brewer's rice, and tuna. And again, there is no mention of any byproducts, and the wet food does not contain any meal. Thunder has already eaten three cans of this, and he's not eating it as enthusiastically as he does the high protein cat food that he normally eats. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get him to change directions and enjoy this food. Jericho, on the other hand, who is not supposed to eat this food, and who doesn't even normally like tuna, thinks this is the best thing ever and I'm having a very difficult time keeping her away from this. So I'm going to need a lot of wisdom in figuring out the best way to have Jericho eat her food and Thunder eat his food and for them not to eat each other's food. The inside of the can just looks like regular pate cat food. I'm actually going to wait to show you what the inside of the can looks like until I can have him try some other varieties of the food and then we'll do a review video highlighting different flavors and different textures. This is what the dry food looks like and this is going to be Thunder's first time of trying this. And so here we see Thunder trying the dry food for the first time and he seems to like it. I do want to thank everyone for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.